Kevin Barnett back here at Carbide 3D and a couple weeks ago started on a clear nomad. You may have seen it on Instagram, turned into a really fun project. And you might ask, why would you make a clear nomad? I'd ask you, why wouldn't you make a clear nomad? We put windows in it for a reason because you want to see what you're cutting. Why not make the whole thing clear so you have 100% visibility, 360 degrees to view your part being made by this amazing little machine. There are some aspects to this that were really interesting from a build perspective. One thing is you have to try and find half inch thick acrylic or Lexan. I found a good sheet of Lexan available at our local plastic shop. Go to your plastic shop, go to your metal shop and look through the rims, the remnants. CNC and the size of your machine, be it a Nomad or a Shapeoko, are perfect for taking rims, leftover pieces from giant construction projects and turning them into interesting things. That was true even of the sides of this Nomad. I found a half sheet of Lexan for about a quarter of the cost you would normally pay for half inch Lexan. So I had the big pieces, that was all set. Quarter inch acrylic for the rest, pretty easy. You probably have that around from some other projects. The top of this machine is normally a 1 8 inch thick piece of material with rubber sides on it. I changed it to a full quarter inch so that it would slide right into the existing slot and you would have exact fitment. Once you change the top from one eighth material to one quarter material, the hinge is no longer going to fit. So I had to take the hinge and actually inset it into the top quarter inch material. I had to flip machine it. So flip it over, locate it exactly, and cut the other side pocket to narrow it in to exactly the middle of that top sheet. I didn't want it to be on the top level. I didn't want it to be on the bottom. I wanted to be exactly in the middle where it would normally be so the door would have the same relationship to the floor of the machine and it wouldn't be somehow in a little too far or out a little bit too far. In the back, we actually don't need this support anymore. Without 1 8 inch material, you don't need the L bracket that holds up the back. You in theory could put these two pieces together with a much smaller bracket, the back and the top, or you could actually bond them with acrylic cement, with acrylic glue, and slide them in from the back side. The Lexan wasteboard, totally useless, but if you're gonna do something, do it 100%. With a one-off, you have a lot more flexibility for exact fits, for materials, for shapes, that you otherwise wouldn't wanna use if you were gonna make 100 or 200 or 5,000 of these things. A few people commented when I put it out there that, oh, the first time you cut metal, it's gonna get scratched up. That's true or if you cut plastic or wood, the sides are gonna statically attract a bunch of material and it's gonna get covered on the inside. Yeah, that could be true too. But you know what, so what? Practicality was not the major concern when it came to this project. It was all about exploring and having fun. In terms of it being used, yeah, I'm gonna use it. No garage queens here at Carbide 3D. This is fun, this is something you could do with your home machine and to that end, we're gonna provide you the files you need. Go ahead and check Cut Rocket. The link will be in the description. Make your own Nomad. The question is, where does this go from here? For me, I immediately start thinking about other appliances, clocks, computers, anything else I can find that's in a box that I can then change the form of, the shape of, the material that it's covered in, that I can totally customize and make my own. Overall, super stoked with the way this turned out. It was a lot of fun to see it come together. The excitement around the shop was a lot of fun. Everybody here spends their days building Nomads and to see something a little bit different that was a blast. Here's Ben Haggerty enjoying his idea brought to life. I would do it again. I'm thinking about how do I alter the inner parts and make them a little more attractive. There's more to come on that. So keep your ear to the ground when it comes to maybe a special edition you could have. Hmm? I don't think this is an end. I think it's more of a beginning. If you're going to go ahead and modify your Nomad, show us what you've done. Put it up on Instagram and go ahead and tag us. We'll see you again from HQ. Clearly this video needs to end. Clearly this video is over. It looks so pretty, I don't want to use it, but we will. It's gonna get mucked up. Maybe plastic only, maybe wood only, no metal.